All right, and welcome to these moments. They call me Malachi, and once again, here we are in the eternal surf of the web. Welcome, souls. I'm sure you're passing by, or maybe you're here to listen to another, what do we call it, a monologue, a dialogue with what I am. They call me Malachi. As always, a pleasure to be in your essence and presence. And so what would I dialogue with you for these few moments I have you? Why don't we speak what seems to be going on for most of humanity uh, worldwide? Huh? Fearful. Hmm? Fearless. Fearful. Fear more. <laughs> Let's just call it hmm, going beyond hmm, fearful into fearless, fearlessness. So how is it that a human animal in these days can acquire more fearlessness? Very simply, by being present, as I'm sure with a little bit of hmm, witness consciousness and a little bit of focus, you might realize that fear, this human emotion, or is it installed in belief, however you find it. Realize that fear doesn't happen in the moment, truly. It is something before and after. It's your future self, it's your past experience, all compiling a, a database of belief of what can happen, what could happen, what will happen. And yet, demonstration shows that if you remain focused, keep your emotional mindset in check, this fearfulness subsides and becomes fearless or fearlessness, dissipates and you're present and embracing what's happening. For isn't that what's really being called for each and every human entity? Hmm? If you truly are a spiritual person, if you whether you have religiosity, whether you uh, follow a religion, a belief, that's appropriate. Huh? Whatever it is that brings you to your center point, to a still place in your being, that's appropriate. Follow it hmm, unswervingly. The point I'm making to your awareness, though, is hmm, during these times, Many people in their spirituality or religiosity or whatever, again, that gets you to that mm, calm and disciplined and equilibrated state, it gets under duress, it gets stressed when there is group consciousness, not only individual awareness, but group, mm, how do you call it? When the world <laughs> is playing along. There's a lot of unconscious and fear coming up and out as you go forward in this period of time that is probably going to be uh, labeled or recalled as one of the worst financial times, quote-unquote. And yet, is it really the worst? There are some of you who are listening, some of you who know people that, yes, are indeed having uh, difficult times. And yourself maybe as well, and yet I'm sure there are many of you also that realize that there are not that many difficult times for some. Why is that? Is it because they're more prepared? Is it because they have more financial uh, prowess, awareness? Is that really what it is? Or is it just that they are able to withstand the weight of these times? Sure, extra money is always helpful, that's obvious. Yet what is really more important, huh? more mm, embodying in this time, is your ability to be fearless. Just because it's difficult doesn't mean it's, you're not able to embrace it. You're not able to take it in your stride. So remember, you will never be given anything that your spirit cannot embrace. You will always achieve forward momentum and movement. All you must remember is instead of playing into the fray of the belief 
of fear where you become paralyzed and depressed and overwhelmed. Allow yourself moments to incubate, to host fearlessness. And what is true fearlessness? It is not allowing yourself to get swept away in the madness, to usurp your individual, what do you call it, power, to remember that whatever's coming at you, as you would label it, or whatever's going on in your reality, you can go in stride. Hmm? If you couldn't handle it, it wouldn't be in front of you. That's, I'm sure, written and forespoken by your hmm, elders before you in religion and spirituality. So remember that soul. I invite you in these moments to remember what fearlessness is. It's simply ever vigilant in your focus, being watchful, and remember to breathe. You are not without options. You are not without the ability to look around. Yes, you may be one of these souls that have lost your hmm, abode, your dwelling space, you may have lost your job. Yes, these are difficult times. Yes, I hear that. And yet, don't wait. Allow yourself to go forward and continue to express and expand and explore every option that is yours. It is most appropriate that you would create for yourself further opportunities rather than allowing yourself to be overwhelmed and, uh, hmm, how would you call it, swept away by the common language of these times, the difficulty of manifesting. There is only one thing that has difficulty in manifesting souls. Look around you, take a deep breath. The only one thing that has difficulty in manifesting is belief. Look around you. Does nature have a problem manifesting? Do animals, other animals in the kingdom? No. And neither do you. So, as all things are appropriate, it is always a pleasure to be in your essence and presence. Blessings upon your journey. And remember, fearlessness is not something you acquire. It's something you've always had always will. Hmm? Go beyond the focus of that which is seeming taking place. Hopelessness, doubt, concern. The more you focus on those things, the more this reality will assume the position in your belief. So, do whatever it takes to keep your excitement unfolding. You are as witness, you are aspects of the one, the creatrix in all things. Journey well, soul. Thank you for sharing these moments with what I am in your journey in the world wide web. <laughs> yes. <laughs>